This is the Smart Row Temperature and Humidity Monitor, otherwise known as a hygrometer. Let's take it out of the box. Now before unpacking even further, it's magnetic and it also has a stand so you can keep it upright. So that means you can put this on your fridge if you wanted to and just have it right there showing the temperature and humidity for you. So in the box we find a little instruction booklet and the unit itself. Now let me go ahead and put some batteries in there but first I'm just going to show you that again it's magnetic but it also has a little flip out stand right here like that so you can turn it and it'll stand up just like that. There's also some buttons on here that you might want to get to know such as the backlight button right there. You have your set up down and Celsius and Fahrenheit buttons right there. So let's go put some batteries in here. Oh and by the way you can also just hang it on a nail on the wall with that little holder there. It takes two AAA batteries just like that. So that'll stand up just like that and it's already reading I'll set it down like this because it'll be easier for the video, but obviously it makes no difference if it's standing up or not. The display updates every 10 seconds. So you'll always have a very up-to-date reading of the humidity at the top and temperature at the bottom. It also has the high and the low for the temperature and the high and the low for the humidity. There's also a button on top that you just press. It's not a click button or anything like that and that will turn on the backlight and that stays on for oh, 10 or 15 seconds or so at which point it'll go out you can just touch it again and it'll come back to life like that uh, it's done that way of course so it doesn't drain the battery because if it left the backlight on all the time the battery wouldn't last very long now this is a pretty sensitive and pretty nice uh, temperature and humidity monitor because it can also be calibrated as it explains here. That means if you have a thermometer that you trust the reading of, uh, in other words you know it to be correct, you can set this so it will directly match that of the one that you have. And that's how you would calibrate it. You calibrate it against a known source. So that's a very handy feature so it'll always be accurate for you. Now of course if you're in another part of the world that uses Celsius you can press the button there and it changes both the current reading as well as the high and the low to match everything just like that. You can also see the color display here and there's a little pointer in the red here that's showing the humidity. Let me turn the backlight back on and that will move depending on the actual humidity. It'll kind of keep going up the scale as such. So OK would be 50 percent. We're at 55 now 57 so it's in the red zone and of course the reason it's going up is because it's in my hand and we all sweat whether you feel it or know it or not so your hands are sweating at all times and the humidity that's just coming off of me is causing this to raise up so I'm gonna leave it here for a little bit and we'll come back it says 63 right now and I'll come back in a few minutes and we'll see what it reads so I left this for a few minutes and you'll see the humidity has gone down to 43 percent from 63 that it was before and also you can see that the little meter has made its way down also just to ensure you of the accuracy of the readings on these I have three of them and everything is within one point of everything else 4176 4077, 4177. Everything is within a point either way up or down. Very, very accurate and I have not calibrated any of these at all whatsoever. This is out of the box, put batteries in and this is what you get. And again, if you want to calibrate it to a good known source, you can be assured of a very accurate reading. So a very nice thermometer and hygrometer from SmartRow. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, 
and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.